In this video I'm going to illustrate how you can harvest uh, egg clutches from the black soldier fly uh, and maintain a steady state production of larvae using propagation bioreactors as uh, illustrated on the website www.diptera.com In the picture that you see right now you can see some of the very useful tools which allows for very rapid harvesting of egg clutches and propagation. The first is just an artistic uh, spatula that can be used to scrape the eggs that have been deposited around the perimeter and the lids of the propagation bioreactors. And the second is a common broom with uh, synthetic bristles. Uh, they've been cut off. I'll show you in uh, part two on this video uh, how you can use this to set up the lids to encourage egg clutch deposits and to recover viable eggs. And it's very simple, just cut off a broom handle or remove the handle from a common broom and cut the bristles so they're a little bit short so they're easy to sweep. This is used for sweeping the lids and also for loading water to moisten the lids and the perimeter of the propagation bioreactor which greatly improves the success in egg clutches. So I'm going to set these aside and I'm going to use the spatula initially because I'll be harvesting the egg clutches in the first step in this process. As you can see there are many adult BSF flying around mating and so on and they have been depositing egg clutches underneath the lids and around the perimeter of the propagation bioreactor over the last three days. The loading cycle on the steady state propagation is every three days. So every three days I had food scrap typically not more than approximately five kilograms per square meter of bioreactor space and then on the third day I harvest the eggs and the eggs are deposited directly back into the waste inside the bioreactor and the waste is turned over aerated and then the lids are prepared with the broom that I just mentioned swept uh, rapidly with a moistened broom uh, bristles and that lid is then slapped right on top of the bioreactor again to maintain the same cycle. So. I'm going to start now by removing the lid and I'll just flip the lid, invert it upside down and you can see right away there are many egg clutches and there are also some larvae on the top so I'm going to use the spatula very quickly and efficiently to capture any larvae and throw them back in along with egg clutches into the uh, reactor. And you'll notice that there are many almost microscopic. You barely can see the young larvae that are have already hatched and they're migrating towards the uh, food waste inside the bioreactor. And so you can see how this can be very rapid. It takes just a matter of a couple minutes at most to harvest the young larvae and egg clutches that are right on top of the perimeter of the bioreactor. And now there are large deposits of eggs also, as you can see, around the sides of the perimeter as well. So I can scrape those off and I just simply collect them by running a spatula along the edge. I use my hands here with latex gloves to catch any eggs that might escape the spatula. And it's just a matter of running around the perimeter very quickly with the spatula as I harvest these eggs and then you can see I'm flicking these eggs directly into the food waste. Now recall that this is food waste that has been partially degraded over the last three days. And 
so this is the first step. These eggs now will hatch and new young larvae will emerge over the next three day cycle and these will continue to grow then and at the point where they're ready to exit as pre pupa they'll exit the bioreactors so I can maintain a steady state production of larvae in this fashion so I'm just going to go ahead with the harvest here you can see how I'm wiping the eggs from the spatula directly on onto the waste that's all it takes just that simple it's important not to try to harvest too many eggs at one time just get the spatula full as you can see there are large numbers of egg deposits here each of these represents several thousands of young larvae that will emerge from these egg clutches uh, easily more than a gram of egg clutches per PBR or propagation bioreactor and that's about eight kilograms roughly of larvae for each of these bioreactors that are being produced All right. I can also use a spatula with my glove to just scrape the egg clutches loose from the edge and they, I'll catch them in the latex glove and this is a way of improving the recovery of the egg clutches of course and it's just a simple process then as, as illustrated here of flicking these egg clutches back into the propagation bioreactor There you can see very large numbers of eggs and it doesn't matter as long as you flip these in to the bioreactor that's the only point once these are flipped in the food waste inside will be turned over and fresh incoming waste will be added to the bioreactor before closing the lid back up over the bioreactor and leaving it for another three days. So I'm going all around the edge of the bioreactor collecting as many eggs as I can. There will be some eggs still left on the perimeter and they may well indeed hatch. The important point is to maintain the humidity so that the eggs are viable. That's one of the quickest ways of losing efficiency is to allow the egg clutches to desiccate. The eggs are quite vulnerable to desiccation and that's why the lids are on the bioreactor in the first place so that water which evaporates and con it then condenses as it hits the lid and maintains then a moist environment that is ideal for the viability of the eggs for their hatching. So I pretty much done a very quick scraping of eggs from the bioreactor. Sometimes you'll find young larvae that have crawled up and dropped into little crevices in the propagation bioreactor and you can use the spatula in the same way to capture those larvae and throw them back in. And sometimes it's useful to just scrape down the inside walls. You'll occasionally find egg clutches on the walls in addition to lots of young larvae that are crawling in. Now once I've done that, I'm going to come back and I'm now going to start harvesting the egg clutches that are deposited on the lid itself. And you'll see that there are many egg clutches all around the perimeter. Don't forget to scrape the edge of the 
lid itself because the eggs are not only on the walls of the the outside walls of the propagation bioreactor but they're also in high density along the rim. So if I just take my spatula I can very quickly just cast these egg clutches into the waste and have seed the fresh waste and that which is already going under process here degrading with new larval eggs which will in about three to four days emerge as young larvae. The lids are light enough that you can hold them in one hand while you process this way. You don't have to worry about the adults. The adults uh, just move out of the way as you scrape. They're not injured or damaged for the most part. Very large numbers of eggs can be processed in a matter of, like I said, just a couple of minutes. And the whole idea here is to look for these egg clutches. They're easily recognizable. And just keep continuing to scoop them and flick them right into the waste. Now I've gone around the lid here. I'm going to also follow around the edges to look to see if I see any egg clutches on the inside section of the lids. I don't see any there, but if you look very closely, you'll see that there are egg clutches that are in many of the crevices that are formed in the lids as well. So it's worth looking in those areas as well to capture and maximize the harvest of the egg clutches. So you can see that's what I'm doing here. I'm using the tip of the spatula to flick these eggs that are in these crevices back into the waste as well so I don't lose any eggs. I want to get all the eggs that I can. You can see right here there's a young larvae that's already hatched um, and it's looking for a route down to the food waste so I'll just help them along with the spatula. And all right, and so I'm just going to, you never know where you'll find these egg clutches. They can be located in the oddest places. Generally speaking, the adults look for tiny nooks and crannies. And uh, that's what you want to watch for when you're looking to harvest the eggs. Now, I believe I've got most of them. What I've missed will likely fall down into the food waste on the next cycle. I'm going to take this lid then, set it in this fashion aside, and I'll stack additional lids for PBR so I can stack these additional lids in the same fashion, one on top of each other. So once I've stacked these on, I'm ready to move to the next propagation bioreactor. And I would repeat the same thing. So I just start with this one again. You can see I have some larvae that are on top of the lids. That's okay. And here again, you can see I'm scraping around the perimeter, repeating the same process. So you can see there's quite a few egg clutches here. Just go very quickly around the perimeter. Try to get the young larvae scraped and falling into the waste. Start with those because these guys are moving fast and I want to capture as many as I can and direct them into the food waste. And as soon as I've done that, I'm now going to go back again and repeat the same operation around the outside wall of the PBR as you can see here. All right, I follow up in the next video showing the rest of the closure of the lid after loading the food waste.